enough of that. One of the main reasons that I decided to buy this camera was not only to make YouTubes, but also for me streaming on Twitch. And there is a really big feature for this thing, which is like the whole USB streaming thing, which essentially turns this camera into a UVC device. And it pretty much means that this camera can be detected by anything, whether it be Zoom, whether it be Teams, some godforsaken reason you're using Teams. It can be used for Zoom, I probably already said that, but any sort of conferencing or video app, it's able to be detected right away, and that's amazing. But one thing that is kind of bothersome is the quality is not really what you'd hope for. So yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. So with the Sony ZV-E10, there are two different ways that you're able to do the whole streaming thing. One is use it with the USB cord, and that just, like I said before, it turns it into a UVC device and you're able to use it with anything. But then the other is hooking it up to a capture card or a cam link, which is literally just a capture card, but nice little tiny little area. So I guess what I want to show you is what the differences are and how it's going to look whenever you're using it to stream. And on that note, let's jump over. Let's let us jump over to OBS. So right now what you're looking at is the Sony ZV-E10 connected directly to the computer using the USB streaming portion. So if you kind of look at it, you'll see that it's kind of choppy. From what I looked up online, it kind of defaults to 720, which when you're using a 4K camera, you really don't want to use 720. So now this right here, this is using the Elgato Cam Link 4K. I needed to put that in there because apparently there are two different versions. One is a Cam Link and the other one's a Cam Link 4K. This is the Cam Link 4K. This is what I've been using on my streams. This is kind of, it looks better. It looks smoother. You're able to set it to a smooth like 1080, 60 frames a second and get that whole 60 frames per second streaming experience that because I mean most mostly everybody streams on Twitch has their stream at 60 frames per second because 30 frames per second doesn't really look all that good in gameplay if you're playing like really fast paced shooters like Apex which I don't play or Call of Duty which also I don't play or Battlefield which I play on occasion and then I feel like some people judge me for it no, they 100% judge me for it, and they, I don't even care. I, sometimes I just want to shoot things on a video game. I know it's a shitty game. I get it. I paid $90 for that thing, and I'm going to use it. There's really no... I feel like this could possibly... This is the only, like, downfall so far that I've seen from this camera, is the fact that you're not able to plug directly in and do 1080-60. Or if you are doing 1080 60 from your camera, it kind of looks like it's not fully 60. It, it drops a few frames and it looks a little stuttery, but I, I guess it works. I feel like there's probably some way in a firmware update that you might be able to enable a, a, smoother, a smoother frame rate coming from the camera, but what do I know? I don't know anything not my job or anything but yeah th this is just a quick one I just kind of wanted to showcase the whole streaming USB versus capture card with this camera because it's something that I found out whenever I first hooked this thing up because I thought I was gonna be like I don't have to do a lot I'm just gonna plug it into a, a USB cable and I'm going to be good but then I noticed that it was a little different a little eh? And then I decided I'm, I'm I have the cat I have the cam link I might as well use it I usually use I used to use it for my GoPro but I also realized I have a couple different capture cards and at some point 
who knows? I might get a Camlink Pro, which I really would like to see that. I just realized I should probably look inside of my streaming PC and see if I'm able to actually use that. Because there's a lot of PCIe devices in I should probably look into that. Yeah. But I, I, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'm not even going to say it anymore. No, I'm going to say it. Smash the like. I've been watching a lot of, like, YouTube analytics things because for some odd reason I'm a weirdo when it comes to that. And they're like, smash the like. So, no, you press gently on that like, subscribe button, and the notification bell. If you want to see more of this. This guy. Anyways, love you. Hold you dear. Hold you close to my heart. And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye-bye! Uh,